Since its launch in October of 2018, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has been making headlines for its many discoveries. From uncovering the secrets of the universe to detecting water on a nearby exoplanet, the JWST has proved to be a powerful tool in the astronomical community. Now, it has made yet another amazing discovery. Before we get into the video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. That said, let's get right to it. The James Webb Space Telescope has just detected a huge population of artificial lights brighter than stars. This is the first time that artificial lights have been detected on another world. Scientists think they may be alien civilizations that produce light at high levels on a regular basis. This research was carried out by a team that included the divisive Harvard astronomer Avi Lieb. The investigation revealed that the optical telescope design may uncover evidence of LED light on Proxima b. Proxima b. It orbits Proxima Centauri, which is 4.2 light years from Earth. The rocky terrestrial planet Proxima b, which was found in 2016, is expected to be slightly bigger than Earth. According to some experts, it might contain liquid water. As a result of Proxima b's orbit being so close to its little red dwarf, it is expected to be tide-locked and to always have a night face. According to Lieb, a civilization might use strong mirrors or extremely brilliant LED lights to shine, illuminate their cities. They advise searching for evidence of LED light waves in the light generated by the planet and its host star using the near-infrared instrument on the James Webb Telescope. It will be possible to identify this artificial light if it does exist. It will be possible to identify this artificial light if it does exist. Professor Lieb spent more than 10 years speculating about the presence of extraterrestrial life and offering a strategy for finding them. He took part in the Breakthrough Starshot project, which involves launching a laser-powered light sail to Proxima Centauri in the next few decades. In a separate study, the astronomer asserted that Oumuamua, an interstellar asteroid, was the first instance of human communication with an extraterrestrial intelligence. Professor Lieb now focuses on Proxima b, which is frequently the first target of alien hunters looking for evidence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. This planet, which is 1.27 times the size of Earth, is in the star's habitable zone. As a result, liquid water may be present on the surface. Only 4.2 light years separate it from Earth. From a distance, it appears to be approaching our planet. The planet is trapped by the tide and constantly faces the star, since the star is tiny enough to be in a habitable zone, which is quite close to the star. Another theory holds that because of the host star's constant, powerful radiant vapor, life is unlikely to emerge throughout the day. A tenth of Mercury's distance from the Sun, or 4.5 million miles, is covered by Proxima b's orbit. Radio astronomers think that radio interference from natural sources may be the cause of radio signals that have been detected close to Proxima Centauri b. Professor Lieb's interest in using the potent James Webb Telescope to find LED lights on Earth was sparked by the tidal lock. The James Webb Space Telescope, which will be launched later this year, will have a broader spectral field of view than its predecessor Hubble and will orbit 930,000 miles from Earth in solar orbit. In order to determine if artificial light may be found on Proxima b's dark side, the research team analyzed the curve of light emitted by Proxima and its host star. It was said, we took into account two alternative scenarios. The first is artificial lighting, whose spectrum is identical to that of the typical LED bulbs used on Earth. The second has a smaller spectrum, but the light it generates is identical to that of artificial lighting on Earth. The amount of light is equal. We discovered that 5% of the star's power is represented by LED-type artificial light, which the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, can detect. They clarified, Our prediction requires the near-infrared spectrometer to operate at its peak efficiency, NERSPEC. Future observatories, like Louvoir, may be able to detect this artificial lighting even if JWST is not feasible. A significant new multi-wavelength space observatory is being considered by NASA and its proposed design is called LUVOIR, or the Large-Scale Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Measurement Instrument. James Webb will be able to define the planet's atmosphere if he can find the narrow-band light-like LED bulbs. 
Researchers may then compute the light curve to see if it matches the curve of the LED light source by using the equipment on the observatory to measure the amount of energy transmission that happens on the planet. Professor Lieb and Associates utilized the JWST exposure time calculation to draw the conclusion that it might be able to detect artificial light. JWST has the ability to detect artificial lights. A normal LED has 500 times the brightness of the brightest LEDs now used on Earth and it can produce artificial lighting that resembles that of the planet. A separate investigation on the potential applications of the James Webb Space Telescope reveals that the telescope might start looking for evidence of alien life as early as 2026. If James Webb detects the narrowband light-like LED bulbs, it will be because it will be able to characterize the planet's atmosphere. Researchers will be able to utilize devices on the observatory to detect how much energy transmission happens on the planet, and then do light curve calculations to verify whether they match those of an LED light source. Lieb and colleagues utilized the JWST exposure time calculator to determine that it could be able to detect artificial light. Before the observatory launches, astronomers can use this tool to estimate what can be observed over any particular time period depending on predefined settings. It enabled them to calculate the probability of detecting various flux values and those with a wavelength that corresponds to artificial light levels that should be anticipated from a civilization that existed in perpetual darkness. It can recognize the traces left by living things, and Ohio State researchers claim that it may discover life on another planet in less than 60 hours. Thanks for watching. We hope you're as excited as we are about this possible alien civilization discovery. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section.